This is a demonstration of the Send to Scheduler utility in WSFTP Professional. Currently we've got the program open. Let's go ahead and connect to an FTP server. In this instance, our FTP server connection profile is called Ipswich Demo. Here we can see the directory listing of the contents of that location. The file we're interested in is called dogchasesacat.txt. Over on the left hand side, this is our local computer. Let's navigate into the local directory that we want to transfer that text file into. The location is called transfer destination. You'll notice that transfer destination is currently empty. Once we've navigated into the correct local location and the correct remote location, we right click the file we want to transfer and select send to scheduler. This brings up the schedule item properties window. Here we can specify a start date. We'll set it to tomorrow. A start time is currently 1024, 38 seconds in the morning. And we can set our end date. We'll set that to be one year from now. The executable field is auto populated and should not be changed. The command field is auto populated and should not be changed. The task name is another field that is auto populated and it starts off with task, the year, the month, the date, and the current time. We'll change this to something more specific. That way we know what this task is actually for. Here's the username field. It is also another field that is auto populated and it is filled in with the account that we are currently logged on to this machine with. Below that, we need to fill in the password fields. At the very bottom of the window, we can speci specify the schedule frequency. We can set it to run once, a certain number of minutes, a daily basis, a weekly basis, monthly basis, at computer startup or at a log on event. Once we have all of these filled in, we'll click OK to schedule the item. You'll have a pop-up window telling us that the task was scheduled successfully. Click OK. Now to check on this task, we can go to Tools, Scheduler Utility, and here we can see that dog chases cat transfer is now in our scheduler list. The next runtime will be on the 14th at 10:17 a.m. and it is currently pending. This means it has not been run yet. If we want to test this transfer, it's a simple matter to right click and select run. It will pop up a DOS prompt window. Once that has closed, let's just minimize that out of the way, we can go over here to the local pane, click refresh, and now you can see that dogchasesacat.txt is now on the local location.